Please, uh, my, my, my name is Afa Mefuna. How may I help you? I am looking for um, a, a lady that's putting on a white gown and she's bald-headed. Uh, yeah, average height. But what do you want from her? Nothing, ma. I, I just want to create some level of acquaintance. Nothing more. No harm. Okay. You go this way. At that junction, you take your right. Okay. You keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't turn. Okay. Keep moving until you see her. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, ma. If I name no, Ije, Oya te kwe kwe mume. Sani me kwe me o. Na ko ashala Oya te kwe kwe koko. Aru me la no. Oya te kwe kwe. Agwa no bodo. Agwa ashala. Agwa ashala Oya te kwe kwe koko. Iyo iyo. I mean, my car can pass through here. Well, why would she say I should drive? Okay, well, guy, I have to go and search for what I see. A man has to die for something. Hmm? Be safe. Resist your beauty and I had to follow you. How dare you step your foot in the great shrine of Aquatella without pulling your shoes? Seize him! That boy has done what nobody has ever done in our land. It is a greater taboo and an insult to the gods of our land. <laughs> he deserves to be beheaded. As custom demands, 
anybody who steps into the shrine of our great mother Agwachala without pulling off his or her shoes will be beheaded and that is final. Olesemeka, honestly, that boy in question deserves to be beheaded. And that will serve as an example to every stranger who doesn't ask questions before disobeying the culture and tradition of the land. Therefore, we need to do the new for you understand me with immediate effect. Welcome to the shrine of the great Adwachala. May you find what you seek. Thank you. Great priestess of our time, we are here in respect of... The offense committed by the stranger. Exactly, Norma. Ah, <laughs> you already know your decisions. And I'm not in support of it. He cannot be beheaded. But in Norma, our tradition demands that whoever commits such offense, that person should be beheaded. What then are you talking about? I have spoken. I am the priestess and the mouthpiece of the goddess before i take any decision i have already communed with the goddess i plead on his behalf pardon him from being beheaded but a mark shall be given to him as a note of warning and then he shall be set free but Norma, that is not the way we handle our things whoever commits such a thing that person is to be uh, uh, beheaded huh? he's supposed to i have spoken we shall all gather here at dawn to set him free Dream 
is this? How is this possible? Hey, Jesus! Hey! What is this? Jesus! Hey! How is this possible? What? Man, this is really serious. Wait, did you say you woke up from your dream and saw this? It is what it is. It is what it is, man. The thing is, um, when I woke up, I didn't feel any pain or something like being attacked or, you know, but just trying to stretch myself out and I looked at myself and I saw a cut on me. And that's just it. Well, I'm not scared anyway. I believe in a short while this is gonna heal on its own time. <laughs> You're kidding, bro. Look. You need to visit the hospital as soon as possible and have a doctor run a test on this. And of course, give you the proper treatment. Are you, are you trying to scare me? <laughs> Wait, Kingsley, are you trying to scare me? This is nothing. Well, listen, I appreciate your concern, but this is absolutely nothing. It's going to get healed at its own time. Just little antibiotics and some major treatment. It will just go. I mean, it's just one of those things. Oh, well, that's fine if you say so. I actually tried calling you, but your number wasn't reachable, so I decided to pull over and check up on you. Yeah, that reminds me. You know, I decided to lay low after this thing happened, you know. I had to restrict myself on some little, little movements, but there's no cause for alarm. I'll be fine again. <laughs> You're not a strong man now. Oh, I'm not and you know, say, I believe you, Skara. Oh, my. No, this small thing, no. You're so tough, IG, man. Hello, darling. Hi, baby. Hello, darling. Yeah. Oh, How are you doing? I'm okay. Since you're going out. Yeah, I wanted to get some groceries for the house. Oh, really? And you look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my God. Baby, what is this? What happened? It's just a minor cut. I mean, it's nothing. So, how are you doing? No, babe, why didn't you tell me about this over the phone? Because of this? It's nothing. It's just like every other injury to go on its own. You know what? We're going to see a doctor. We're going to the hospital right away. <laughs> Because of this? Let's go and see a doctor. This, this is much. Wait, 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 hold on. I should go and see a doctor because of this little injury. Baby, we're going to the hospital. Just let's tell me you're kidding. We're going to the hospital. Oh, please. Babe, come, let's, let's go. go. Back. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. From Babe, I insist. Let's go to the hospital, please. Yeah, let's go. Are you kidding me right now? I'm not. Let's go. So, <laughs> are we going in your car or mine? Uh, no, we're going in your own car since you are the one who proposed that we should see a doctor. Uh -huh. Because of this minor. So, what do you want me to see a doctor when I get to the hospital? Are you injured? <laughs> because of this little thing. Um, Chigo. Sir. Please, make sure when the painter is done, get him something to eat, eh? Okay, sir. Then if any other person looks for me, just tell the person to call me on the phone. Okay, sir. Test not to allow your fiance to come in with you as we discuss the situation. I'm very, very sure you have an answer to that. You have been my answer. friend for so many years. And for me to tell you that I don't want my fiance to be here, that means I want whatever I am discussing with you to be private. It's alright. Can I see hand? This is serious. This is how I woke up and saw this thing. Wait, you mean you woke up from your sleep and you saw this court in reality? Doctor, I am telling you that I went to sleep sound just to wake up after the dream and I saw this on my skin. But wait, the girl you saw in your dream, I mean the girl that followed you, do you know how in reality I've never set my eyes on that court before? But one thing is certain, Doctor, the girl is so beautiful. Mm. That girl, you need to see that girl. 
In the dream, it's it seemed like she possesses some kind of spiritual power or something. Powers? Yes. I'm afraid to say that this must be a spiritual problem. Why are you scaring me? Toto, please. Can you please handle this little so case? Let me go. This is mine or now. Treat me, let me go back to work. I'm not scaring you. You see, spiritual problems are deeper than you can ever imagine. Physically or carnally, it looks so simple. But spiritually, it has so many undertones. Half of me, you know I've been your doctor for years, and I cannot deceive you. I want your good health, and that is why I'm sitting on this table. I'm assuring you, your health is my concern. Just do as I've said. So what is the advice again? Seek a spiritual solution. What kind of life is this? That I will not blaze you. <laughs> um, doctor, please, I want to blame you for something. And then, um, you see, whatever I have discussed with you here in this office, I want you to keep it away from my feelings. You know, women have this funny nature of theirs. She would be mad that I follow another woman in the country. And I wouldn't want that to happen. Afam, the most beautiful thing about this our profession is that we have the ability to keep secrets. As for her, she will not hear about it. Okay? So relax, let's know how to treat this. But meanwhile, I'll prescribe some drugs for you. You go to the pharmacy and pick them up. Okay? Baby, what's happening? I told you your food is ready and you're yet to eat. What happened? I'll join you. Are you not hungry? But I'm sure you're going to eat later. Hey, babe, I'm seriously upset. What was the meaning of what the doctor did? Like, he didn't allow me go to his office with you. Why? I'm sorry about that. I think he's just trying to protect the hospital rules and regulations. But it's okay. I would make sure it doesn't happen again. Babe, I don't believe you. Seriously, I don't. I am your wife-to-be and the doctor is aware of that. He has been your personal doctor for some years now. So, there is something you're not telling me. Yeah, you're not. It's okay. I promise that will happen again. I will make sure it doesn't repeat itself. Well, that's okay. Let's go in so you eat your food now. Let's go. No, no, please. I, I, I don't have appetite. Baby, you must eat. Don't worry. I'll feed you. Let's go in. Let's go. Is well. What happened? I didn't say welcome to your big brother. Oh, sorry, your master. Welcome. But I'm surprised you're back. Okay, um, we're on vacation. Oh, really? Sister, I hope there is food in the house. I'm very hungry. I don't understand. You just came in and you're talking about food. Please stand up, get to the kitchen and go and cook. Listen, as far as you're here now, you're in charge of everything in this house. The kitchen, you know, everything. In fact, there are lots of house chores waiting for you, if you don't know. Sister. To go to the kitchen. Sister, at least pet your kid brother for once. I'm just coming back from school. Pet you. I know the man like you. <laughs> eh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, welcome. Hey. Hey. Hi well, baby, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you glow, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This your brother is growing really faster. What on earth are you feeding him with? My money. Yeah. That boy eats my money like ah. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. See, we're talking. But even lucky you have a younger brother that disturbs you. I wish I had somebody that disturbs me this way because I am the only child of my parents. Mm. And I don't have somebody that disturbs me or troubles me like this. <laughs> mm. My dear, now you go run. Oh, calm down. <laughs> 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 For where? So uh -huh, that reminds me. Have you heard from Ahamifuna? Well, he he had accident. Uh, accident? Yeah, no, it's not much. It's not something serious. Just a slight cut on his hand. Yeah, nothing much. <gasps> Don't worry. I know you. Don't worry. He'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. Eh? Thank you, my daddy. So sorry. Okay. Anyways. I am here now, thank God you're on leave. So go in there, prepare me a chicken stew with white rice. I can't wait to devour a food pot. You know, I, know? I don't understand though. Did you actually plan this with Emeka? Like you planned this with my brother. <laughs> Madam, you are not a visitor. Go to the kitchen. Go and join Emeka. I have come to eat. <laughs> my dear, I will watch both of you do the cooking. I have come now. Mama, why are you hiding your hand? Mama, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. Good. I I see. I saw. Eh? Yeah, my guy. What is this? Minor injury. I just after some time to be fine. Okay. Look, 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 look. This thing does not look ordinary to me. This thing does not look ordinary to me. We'll go and see your child, eh? Mama, Mama, I said this is just a cult. But by the way, can you help us out your child, with injury? Eh? And I got all your family, your shoe, right? Mama, it's just a cult. I tell you why, it will just go. Hey, why are you stubborn? Eh? The same stubbornness that killed your father. People look here. Come lose the bogey. This is not ordinary. No. Because I did, I did, I did, I did. Welcome, wife of late great Okeke Maganazo, the offspring of great Okeke Maganazo, the grandson of Ntumabuleni Kingdom. Do I really know? Mama, did you hear what he said? Hmm. Oh. I'm going to to Hmm. My son, have you asked why the kite is afraid of Okin, the little bird? May you not be swallowed by your predicaments out of ignorance. The girl, the priestess, flats the sword that was used to behead the greatest and the strongest Dikiana Bogunanya of Agwachala. Nagwachala defeated the Kiana Bogunaya and they kept the sword since then. Whoever the sword touches gets severe hurt and can only be healed by the same sword. Find a priestess. Do as she says to free yourself from the doom. As a Dibia. How did you know about the girl and the sword? Mama, everything he said here is in accordance to the dream. I might have just one eye, but can see better far and beyond. Even if you possess this 1,000 eyes, ask more questions, for you have gotten answers for what you seek. I have no other question to ask you. Thank you, Great Ojadele. Thank you very much. Why are you doing this to yourself? 
since we returned from the great Ojandele's shrine, you have not said a word to me. You have not eaten anything. All you want me to die for you. Mama, first thing tomorrow morning, I am going back to the city. You're joking, okay? Mama, I am not joking about it. I mean, nothing is making sense to me anymore. Nothing. My friend is not making sense. My fiance is not making sense. The Oja, the little native doctor himself, is not even making sense. I mean, how can I remain in the village in the quest to find solution to ordinary courts? Over one superstitious belief. Something that I know if I go to hospital, a good medical facility will take care of this. I'm afraid that this thing is getting infected by the day because I have not taken it to the proper medical center that will handle it. You don't expect me to remain here, please. I need to go back to my work. Why do you argue so much? Eh? Why do you argue too much? Your father named you Afame Funa so that his lineage will not go away. The lineage will not go away because of this injury. I will treat it as you go. Because of your stubbornness, you want your father's lineage to go. The same thing you did when I told you to fence all the pieces of land your father left behind for you. Ejo. Now I keep fighting every day. No, so okay, can so careful every day. Am I okay? If that land is the problem, you should have said so than dragging this whole thing. As soon as I get to the city, I will send some people to the village to come and fence the land. It will go again. Let us go and look for the priestess so that this thing will be sorted out. Biko. Mama, you are still repeating this matter. I thought the land was the problem. I have accepted to fence the land. Mama, you started it again. You are expecting me to go and search for priestess that I don't even know. It doesn't make sense to me. Let me go back to my life, please. Your life is more important to me than an hour. What are you saying? In a I can't even move more. Biko, can't change the topic, Biko? painful part of the whole thing is my mom accepted every single thing that native doctor told her everything the man said there my mother accepted it and I, it doesn't make any sense to me wait what are you calling a cock and bull story Alpha? you're the one person who told me that the seer had mentioned everything that happened in your dream exactly how it transpired so come on bro what else do you need to be convinced you're sounding as if you also believe what the man told us, do you? Bro, look at your hand. It is getting worse every single day. So get up and do something about this. Or, if you don't mind, I mean, I can go with you. Um, let me ask you this question. Have you heard of Aguachala before? No. Do you know where it's located? Of course, no. So why are you encouraging me to search for a woman, a mistress woman, a woman I saw in my dream, a woman I don't even know if she's existing or not? Does it make sense? Fine, but the fact is that as far as that seer had mentioned a name of a village where that lady can be found, that's to say she exists. So bro, please, get up and do something about this. Please. You see, it is true that I feel pain at times. There's this painful sensation that comes with this injury. Like, I can't even describe the pain. But even if I have to go on this journey or whatever search, I wouldn't want to involve you in this. I don't want you to risk your own life at my own expense. But also, I would like to beg you for something. Can you please keep everything I have told you regarding this matter sealed? A shot, bro. Good. Everything you've said is intact with me. And I also don't want you to forget this in a hurry that my fiancé knows nothing about this whole thing. A shot. Deal. Here. Yeah. Of course, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, you, you. Okay. Alright. Take this. Uh, oh. This is so good, you know. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
babe. <laughs> okay, should finish or? Oh. It was a dream, but wait, is this possible? Such a beautiful dream, spoiled by someone I can't even recognize. That hand snatched half a from away from me. No, no, that's not possible. I know Afam loves me so much, and I love him too. I'm aware he can even die for me. Ah. Wow, it's midnight. Let me go in. Baby, I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. I'm so sorry. I was unable to come to see you when you returned from the village. I've been so, so busy. How is Mama? You see, the woman was busy asking of you. Maybe she was expecting that you come to the village with me. Oh, really? Mm, that's okay, baby. This hand is getting worse. I think we should see my doctor. No, no. Let's try my doctor. Uh, well, I just think the hand is affected and after a while it will dry up. Just give it like, talks like a few weeks. No, babe. We are seeing my doctor. I want you to be fine. Shh. Let me handle this. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Missed you. Missed you. Missed you. It's so hard. <laughs> so, have you eaten? I I had fruits. Now, I'll prepare your favorite onobo soup. Onobo. I'm going to join the men. Oh. Hi, hey, baby. Mm -hmm. No! 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 Ah! What is going on? is bleeding again. Search for a girl that I don't even know if she's existing or not. A girl I saw in the dream. Eh? And I can tell you, I'm not going to be able to Does it make any sense? Eh? I would just leave, my, or leave everything I was doing and just go, 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 go to one or unknown place that I'm searching for a, a girl I saw in the dream. I'm not going to be able to Yeah, um, yeah, so uh, we, we were talking and um, the woman started screaming, Ay, ewo, jimu, ay, yega, oh. She was so surprised with the sum of money she received. I mean, that a lot surprised that woman. Nah, eh, thank you so much. You have changed that woman's life. That will be there. Oh. Um, okay, that won't be a problem. I'll be going back to the city anytime soon. Don't worry now. Alright, take care of me. Thank you. 
No. Uh, mama. When I was inside, I was hearing sounds of someone in pain. I thought it was you. That was why I had to come up. Ah, ah, no, I'm happy to be here. I, it's a story. Something happened. A friend of mine gave this poor woman little money, and the woman started screaming, "Ewo, chai, ewo, ien kone, chai." You know that kind of thing. And mm. my people are really suffering this life. Mm. I am telling you. Hmm. Hello. Uh, I want to continue that story I was oh, telling you. Like, oh, okay. You know, I couldn't finish mm -hmm. before you came out. Mm. What can do? Said he's no longer dragging the land because that he has left it for us. Yes. Huh? That he doesn't want you to come and arrest him with soldiers. <laughs> yeah. The way the way Elisa's son arrested him now here, Kenny. <laughs> 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 if you see the winner, it was the front door. I will jump. <laughs> oh. You know, Mama, hey. you see all those bold men. Sometimes you, you, you need to teach them some lesson. You know, some of them are capitalizing because of the old age to perpetrate evil in the village. Only got the one about full sale. You know, I mean the bad ones, so you know. Well, is a man only goes even. Oh, my lucky day. Oh. Oh, uh, bushrat though, Papa bushrat. I thought there's no more bushrat around our house here. And I will see a whole bushrat just came with speed. Bing, 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 bing. I said to him, I threw it off. I think it should be within the bush area right there. Bushrat? Hmm. I haven't thought civilization has just away this animal from here. I don't know. I just missed the way and came this way. Yeah, I can't see because I have not seen any good shots in the bad years. I'm bad. I'm good shots. I'm going to go now. 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 I'm going to go there is no time. There is no time. Do not be stubborn as your forefathers. A stitch in time saves nine. Obalo Okobulu, won't it in a bamboo? As a Dibia, you know, there's no way I can embark on such a journey. That journey in question is so dangerous. I don't even know the land in question. Talk less of knowing the priestess you 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 ask me to go and search for. Listen, there's a deep I came here this evening to ask you to heal me. There's a deep Do you know that I even perceive the rottenness of my own hand? My hand smells sometimes. I, I, can, I can perceive it. Please help me handle this. I will give you the amount you want. Son of late great Okeke Maganazo, what you ask me to do is impossible. Go and heal yourself. <laughs> For now, I need to converse with my she. You can now go. No, I am going to the next town. There's this friend of mine who is having a function. So, as a good friend, I decided to go there to support him because I want more money. I never support one. Hi. If you had told me earlier, now I can be still loving me. I am not a child. Eh? Besides, there's a lot to eat when I get to that place. Eh? Yeah, function can now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just be careful, look. One can you? Okay, one. Oh. Ma, mama, just one day here, you know, as you can see, not the heat of ma, just one little thing here for me. But I had to cover it, you know, I don't want to go to the function and people will be asking me ah, what happened here, you know. Mm -hmm. I show that kind of sympathetic attention. Mm -hmm. As you can see, then in Miami, I'm not a woman now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Bukan Un Bukan Tan Jo Chico, is your guy in? No, madam, he travel go abroad for business. What? Like you mean your ogre is not in this country? Yes, ma. Uh, um, okay, fine. Um, well, I tried calling him. His numbers were not going through, so I decided to come. Did he tell you when he will be coming back? No, madam. Ah. Oh, don't worry. That's okay. I will believe in. Stranger, you shall be healed, but you shall spend seven good days in Aguachala Shrine. No food, no water. You are not meant to set your eyes on any human until the rituals are performed. Are you ready to go on with this task? Were well, you talking to me? I'm asking you, wait, wait, all this is you said, were you referring to me? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You mean I should spend seven days in your shrine? No food, no water, no brushing my teeth, no taking my bath? 
listen. Princess or whatever you are, please. I was having my dream peacefully. And you came out of nowhere and dominated my dream and inflicted this pain on me. If you know the way you got yourself into that dream, do whatever you need to do and get me out of this. Let me have my life back. <laughs> but Mako is that animal that makes noise before killing. If you happen to be as deaf as a grasshopper, you shall find yourself in the mouth of Oboko, Mr. Stranger. Mr. Stranger, business with Oboko. Oboko, or whatever you are talking about, I do not have any business with that Oboko of yours. Listen, I am a businessman. You do not know how many clients I have lost in the quest to find you to heal this. That is the sword I saw in the dream. Use that same sword that you used in inflating the pain and heal me. Let me get back to my normal life and let me not see you anywhere around my dream again. <laughs> the things you do not know are bigger than you. Oh, really? Okay, now I see. You don't want to heal me, right? It's okay, fine, no hard feelings. I'll get the best specialist in town. I'll take this hand to the best surgeon, to the best medical field. Whoever that's gonna heal this, and I'll pay them the money and they'll treat me. Nonsense! I've seen seven days. Seven days doing what? With all this things in there about. Can you understand that seven days? Why would I be here for seven good days? Doing what for ten of thousand? Put another one. Seven good days. You know that I have a problem. He shall stay here. No sense. 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 No days. No sense. 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 No Natasha, I need seven days. Seven days, Gini. Can you with seven days? What do you have money enough for? I want, 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 I He was supposed to tell me before traveling. Yes, I don't just know what came over Afam. Afam has completely changed. I don't understand what's going on. Before Afam do anything, he do inform me. But this time around, it's just like, uh, I, I, my, my opinion doesn't count. To the extent that he left this country without letting me know. Baby girl, relax, okay? I mean, it might be an urgent trip for business. You know how these things happen sometimes. Oh, baby girl, stop that, please. A short message would have been okay. Yes, of course. Sending a, a short message like, oh, babe, I, I won't be around for so so time. It's okay. And not just living as if I'm a nobody. That's bad now. Huh? No, relax, baby girl. Look, when you called me, I thought something bad happened to you. Uh, you don't have to let something like this, I mean, little things like this freak you out. What about the gate man? Did you tell you anything about him? He doesn't know his whereabouts as well, yeah. The poor boy was just confused when I was asking him too many questions. <sighs> it's okay then, calm down. I believe when he returns, you go and you meet him and know why everything happens this way, maybe. Why he behaved like this or something. I'm just worried. Yeah. I'm worried. I thought I wasn't like this before. I think that's why I'm pulled out this way. Okay, relax. I'm worried. I thought I changing. Nothing bad happened yet, okay? What nonsense! 
How do you expect me to be in that place for seven days? Seven whole days, no water, no food, no internet subscription, not brushing my teeth, not having my bath. I am not allowed to communicate with any other person for seven days, 24 hours in seven places. Do you understand what you're talking about? But you need to be okay. Personally, I think you should be happy that you finally found this priestess who's got the sword. Only if you know what I went through. Only if you understand how far I drove to find that strange land. I went through a lot. The road was so scary. It's obvious you don't get it. All of this is still for your own good. And it's not like it's at the detriment of your life. Bro, you need to be okay. So go in there and solve this thing once and for all. Did I invite her in my dreams? Tell me! Nobody did you be that? How did she get to my dream? Hey, uh, God, God damn it. Uh, Holy shit, man. Hey, bro. Sorry, huh? Oh, Sorry. This shit hurts, man. Oh. That's why you should find a way and resolve this thing once and for all. And this is bullshit. I mean, this is, this is, this is nothing but bullshit. Did I, did I, did I invite her to my dreams? Tell me. How did I do wrong? Like, where did I go wrong? I, I was having my dreams that she came. Sorry, bro. Mama. Mama, what is it? You have been rejecting your food lately. What is the problem? Mama, food is not my problem. Then tell me, what is your problem? Mama, why don't you want to talk to Ikeng on my behalf? Hey, Mama, please now. <sighs> my daughter. My daughter. <sighs> come, come. Be patient with the Kenka. He will come for you at the right time. I told you already. Ikenga is betrothed to you from childhood. And it was sealed due to the relationship I had with his late parents. Stop being unnecessarily worried and eat your food. Mama, Ikenga is not ready to marry anyone else. Looking into his eyes alone, Mama, all I see is hatred. Like, I disgust him. <sighs> Mama, am I not beautiful? Eh? Huh. My daughter, you are beautiful. Mm. More than beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. You can guys see us forever. <laughs> <sighs> Stubborn child, for what you do not know is bigger than you. How about Lawan Yobioma? How 
Well, and why you choose riches? Have mercy on him, for he is only but a child that do not know anything about the things of the spirit. Temper justice with mercy. Iko, go begin that job. Go begin that job. Biko, Insula, please, can you talk to me? Tell me what is going on, because right now I am so confused. Tell me what's happening. Okay, he's barely in his office. He doesn't tell me where he goes to. Like he traveled without letting me know. His fiance. That's bad. Right now his numbers are off. Like right now his numbers are off. His numbers are unavailable. Please, talk to me. Tell me what's happening. Please. Oh well, I am as confused as you are, yeah? I don't know anything. In fact, uh, I'm surprised he traveled. Oh please, Kinsley, don't do that now, huh? Don't do this to me. You are his best friend. You should know his whereabouts. T tell me, where did he go to? Eh, please, talk to me. Because I'm not comfortable anymore. Like, I'm watching my half I'm slip off my hands just like that. Please. <coughs> you just relax yourself, eh? Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to try and get across to him, then I'll get back to you. Hmm? Okay. Kinsley, don't tell me to relax. I can't. Like, <laughs> please, just do whatever you can, okay? Please. Briska, relaxed. Cheer up already. Everything is gonna be alright, yeah? You're gonna be fine. I I I I I A stubborn stranger, your son will stay here for seven days. No human shall set eyes on him. Some rituals need to be performed to set him free from the curse. Go home, for he shall return to you if he survives. Please, how can I let him stay here in this condition for seven days? I cannot sleep. Okay, be cool. Let me sleep in this bush. I don't mind. Do not endanger your life. For there are dangerous animals everywhere. Go home! For he shall come back to you. Go! For I need to commune with the goddess. So stupid. 
to have believed my son when he said he was recovering. <sighs> Why do you want to make your poor mother childless? Huh. You will not die. You will return to me. Naguachala, Mwane Chungwe, Ekelem Go. Afa mefuna. Afa mefuna. Afa mefuna. Your recovery is in your destiny. Mm. The condition of your son is still very confusing to me. You left me years ago to raise that boy. Now that he is about to settle down and give us children, we sit here the mama Biko. In case he comes to that place, Biko Joachiazo. If anything should happen to that boy, all of us will join you there. you your eyes are swollen mm. mama you look so stressed and unhappy is it because of our farm good, good. mama of course i'm used to him though lately he travels out of the country without letting anyone know but don't worry mama he will be back soon okay don't mama stop crying he'll be back soon I actually came to ask you his whereabout, but seeing you like this, I have my answers already. My daughter, I wish she traveled. <laughs> As we speak, my son is between life and death. Uh, uh, no, Mama, I don't understand. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Mm. Uh, Mama, where is my love? Mama, where is Afba? I want to see him. I want to see my love. Where is he? You cannot see him. You cannot see him until after seven days. What? That is if he survives it. Mama, I'm confused. I don't know what is going on. Tell me what's happening, Mama. Where is Alpha? Where is my love? Where is the love of my life? If I never know. Greetings, Sikenga, the son of the great Ezebube. I greet you. Thank you. Welcome, my friend. Uh, without wasting much of your time, I I brought this gift. This young for you. I, I believe you need them. 
thank you. Such a great soul. I'm grateful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, as a matter of fact, that the first proceeds from my farm, and I said to myself, the beautiful priestess of Agwacha, who gave Agwacha their falls, deserves to eat from my first proceeds. Well, brother. I'm grateful, Ikenga. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ikenga, I also know of your meeting with the elders in regards of the people of Idan. Jidekiji, never give up on the truth. The peace of this land should be paramount. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, thank you, I. I better take my leave now. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> they say if deity do not go home empty handed. <laughs> uh, Umokoro, get me four pieces of cola nuts or jugo to be precise. When you get home, mm. tell Ndiani that you visited Ijamaka and that their daughter is always loyal to them. Always. Always. <laughs> As a I got a lake and um, let what we eat come and let what we eat us run away. Kaki, the Mialum Mialum, when you eat him, he for my meal, I keep for job at a letter. He said, I will never near draw when I turn your gift. He said, It shall be well with us. It shall be well with all of us. What about me? Tell them to protect me too. Tell them to protect me from that devilish priestess. That wicked priestess. Nebunubasa <laughs> I can also see a matter of me, Adam Momada. I don't call you a memo on Oglu. Come more that you also. My book one up one one day, you know, no, you also. Also, go at you. A canemon. A canemon. A canemon. A canemon. You say. Now, let me warn you. Never you in your entire life interrupt me when I commune with the gods. But why would we be praying for her? What's so special about this lady? Oh my God, I'm kidding home with me. Look at me now. I'm very sure that I'm prettier than her. Please, consider me. Come and see my people, please. Obim, pick on me. Let me warn you, never you speak to me of the priestess. Else I will send you to an exile. Look at me. Look at me now. Am I not a complete woman? Please, just say yes to me, please. How many times will I say this? I am not interested. Find another man. I am not interested. What is wrong with you? Please, stop, old lady. Stop. I can't. I can't even sleep without thinking of you. I love you. Oh really? I bet you know your way out. When you're done standing here, you will just leave my house. Don't go, please. Ikenga, please. I love you. Ikenga. Ikenga, please don't go. Godo, Ijamaka, I blame you for all this. Get ready the great. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy to get the Njofia leaf in your house. I have searched almost all the bushes around. Thank you. Well, uh, you're welcome. You know, most times these leaves are, are scarce yes, yes, in the yes, forest. Yes. So, well, I thought of planting some, hmm. so it would be easier for me to get them in time. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. I, uh, I have to leave now. I have so many sick people waiting for me at the shrine. It's alright. Thank it's you. Right. You're welcome. Farewell. And 
angel, angel, I'm not coming back until I set my eyes on the love of my life. I'm not coming back until I see her far. Mama doesn't want to tell me what I need to know. I don't know. My heart is broken. Seriously, I've been crying. Okay, I will stop crying. I'll stop crying. It's hard for me, but I'll stop. Okay, I'm going to say bye bye. Bye bye. What is it? Huh? The food I left for you did not even touch it. Okay, me. I saw the food I gave to you. You didn't even touch it. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to starve yourself to death? You have been here for three days. Still wearing the same dress. If anything should happen to you, I'll be held responsible. Because if you really love my son, you have to eat. Please, you have to eat. You have to go home and freshen up. Because, Mama, I don't care. I don't care if I've been wearing one clothes for three days now. Mama, what bothers me is to set my eyes on her farm. I want to see the man I love with every part of me. I want to see her farm. I don't care. As for food, I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat. Because I'm sure that wherever her farm is right now, he's not eating anything. I'm not eating too. <laughs> <laughs> you stop crying. I know how you feel. I know how you feel as a mother, but please don't cry. Chikelu ayawu, chikelu miri, chikelu ani. Na gu atala ni mama. Ugebe di na wu ani. Okulu akalisiya as my bows to begin this ritual. You, the stubborn stranger, hear him so that he can speak of your great powers in a strange land. The time has come. Is a wine chalacha. Is a wine jocha. Is a wine your bioma. The time has come for you to hear your son. You gave me this sword not to kill but to save. The set time is now. What is happening? What is happening? I don't know. They told me after seven days that if not, he's dead. Oh hey, no, mama. mama, don't say that thing. Mama, don't talk about that. <laughs> no, 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 my mm. will not die. My will not die. Oh. Mama, 
mama, mine. Mama, 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 Katrina. Mama, how are you? How are you? Oh, mama, oh, mama. Oh, oh, look at you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Everything is gone. Everything. Just like that. Oh, no. 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 I am sorry. Okay? I am sorry. Hey. It's not too much to think. Please forgive me. Please. Why didn't you tell me? Why? Hey, Joy is I... back. I never wanted to disturb you. Yes. I, I thought I could handle it alone. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. The most important thing is that my love is back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me go. Mama. <laughs> no. America. <laughs> ah, I thought I had lost you. <laughs> I'm back. Mama, come. Let's go. Let me tell you what happened in that bush. A beautiful maiden. Why would she accept the position of a priestess in that village? I can't even get her off my mind. Oh God, Priska, Priska, such a nice girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Priska. I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. If I name Manu, Ije, Oya te kwe kwa mume, Jane me kwe me, Nakwa shala Oya te kwe kwa koko, Aru me lanu, Oya te kwe kwa mwano bodo, Agwa shala, Nakwa shala Oya te kwe kwa koko, Iyo iyo, Ije, Oya te kwe kwa mume, Priestess. How you doing? Well, um, I thought I should say thank you for saving my life. Oh, thanks to the goddess of Aguachala. No. Oh, thanks to you. Because without you, probably the goddess wouldn't have listened to my problems. So I say thank you. This is a little way of showing my appreciation just to say thank you for what you did for me i see your appreciation is well accepted thank you i was actually busy before you came in you may leave Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it's it's fine. I mean, uh, I'm not in a hurry. I can always hang around and wait for you when you're done. Then I can still have a glass at you. You may leave. in this house all the gallons are empty mama because i'm not happy i'm not happy mama you don't want to talk to ikenga on my behalf so please let me think and find a way to solve my problems so because i didn't talk to ikenga on your behalf that is why you want us to be thirsty in this house not even water to cook nor wash mama mama do you love me at all mama do you love me at all What do you mean? 
Mwa bunei. Kena do that you chua. What type of stupid question is that? Mama. Mama, please. Help me and talk to Ikenga. Please. Help me out, Mama. I will kill myself. I will kill myself, Mama. Welcome to my home, wife of Okonkwo and Yukonwa. To what do I owe this visit? Not to offend you. I've come to remind you that my daughter Ijeoma <laughs> is ripe to be plugged. Well, uh, let whom is ready plug the fruit. <sighs> of course, you are aware that my daughter was betrothed to you right from the day she was born. Due to the relationship that both families shared, your father, the great Ezebube, Sell it by paying her bride price on your behalf when you were little. Even my late husband, Okonko and Yukonwa, gave your father a plot of land at Ukodara as his in law. So I've come to ask you what is keeping you from taking home your betrothed? You can take back the land which your husband gave to my father and return the bride price. It is simple. I don't love your daughter. We are old enough to make our decisions now. Please. Mama, I hope you heard him, right? You heard him. Sit down. Mama, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> no, no, my daughter. My daughter loves you so much. Why not give her a chance? This is my love. Don't touch me. Please, give me a chance. I promise I'll make you the happiest man on earth. Please. Please, my lord. Listen, boy for any home. Like I said earlier, I don't want to get married. In fact, I don't want to get married. It is simple. Find your daughter a husband and let her get married. I mean, she's so beautiful. In case of that evil princess, right? Shut up your mouth. Make sure again. Let's make you off. What? What? Shut up. Make sure again. Mama, those people, don't speak ill of the priestess before you face the consequences. My son, please forgive her. Please. She don't know anything about our culture. Please forgive her, my son. I can only forgive her because of you. Leave me alone, Mama. In one one, make a movement from that place. Akuangi see Ijoma. Bia, what was the meaning of that embarrassment? Are you running mad? Mama, you can't get there someone that will talk sense into him. I you think the best way to talk sense into him is by abusing the priestess before him? Mama, I'm very sure that Ikenga is having an affair with Ijamaka. That husband snatcher. Talk me chum. Now let me warn you. If you don't have everything. You might regret this. Mama, I am fighting for what rightfully belongs to me. And that is it. Hmm. Hmm. I You know, just go ahead and tell her exactly how you feel. Just tell her exactly how you feel. Don't be scared, man. That's the feeling. That's the feeling. Yo, 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 yo. Hi, Priestess. How are you? How may I help you, stranger? Um, my name is Afam Ifuna. You can call me Afam. 
state your mission, for I do not have all the time. They say that bravery is not the absence of fear, but the presence of fear and yet the will to go ahead. I just want to say to you that you're beautiful. Yes, I want to break it to you for you to know that I am interested in you. I would like to take you into the bigger world. Show you lots of beautiful things that are waiting you. And as for you people, you can do something better with your lives instead of remaining here in the bush. Priestess, give me the chance to spend my life with you. I, I would like to marry you. My heart aches for you. I, I want you. I, 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 I can't imagine a life without you. Instead of abandoning you in this godforsaken bush. How dare you! How dare you speak ill of my traditions? I, I just said my mind. I'm sorry. He who the bee stinged runs on the hearing of the sound of a big fly. Be warned, stranger. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the man saying his mind. I said, Priestess, there's no. Get out before I strike you dead! Get out! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out! Take it easy, take it easy. I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, okay? I'll leave. It's, it's, it's fine, I'll leave. There's nothing wrong with the man saying his mind. Alright? Leave. Ah, the great priestess of Aguadala. <laughs> Uh, my priestess, you look so angry and so disturbed. What is the problem? Is anything the matter? You speak to me. The stranger, I healed. He's after my heart. And. He... He touched me! A stranger whom you healed is after your heart. He... He dare touched you? I bet he must still be on his way home. Let me destroy him in a second. No, I cannot. Remember... You cannot kill him. And I can't sit and watch him put you in trouble. And desecrate the land as well. No! I will handle him my way. He must count today as one of his lucky days. Next time I can't stand this. Come inside with me. You must! You are disturbing my life. Ah. You are disturbing my life. Are you you? I am disturbing you. Oh, no problem. I need an explanation here and now. Why didn't you pick my call? My phone chooses who to pick and who not to answer. Let that get into your skull. Oh, really? Oh, from what is going on? Like, this is me asking you what is going on. What? Listen. I was busy before you came into this house. If you're not going to give me that set piece I have inside there, remain here. Watch the screen or you leave to your own house. Excuse me. What? Really? I found you are indirectly asking me out of your house. I found you lie. I have come to stay. I have come to stay. I have come to stay. What did I do to Afam? I can't remember doing anything wrong. What is happening? What's all this? Why, why is Afam doing this to me? Afam will tell me what I did. Hello. Afam, big. Hello, baby. 
My king. Baby, what have I done? <laughs> Tell me now, what's going on? What's happening? <sighs> what? He had a job! What's happening? Oh my god! Listen, what anyone has to say on this has nothing to do with me. I think what matters most is what I feel. That is all that counts at this point. You're very funny, bro. Very funny. I mean, how can anyone be proud to say he's in love with a priestess? Huh? You must be under a spell. <laughs> you're beginning to sound like my mother. Honestly speaking, you're sounding like my mom. I mean, how would you believe that I am under a spell? Come to think of that, no one can cast a spell on me. Ah, see, it's, it's, it's important as human that we learn to know the differences between love and like. There are different things. So now, tell me, how about your fiancé? Oh, well, she's a nice person. I like her. She's accommodating. She's really a wonderful person. But the truth is, the earlier I, I saw this, the better. I just can't do this. But you proposed to her. And I mean, I was making all sorts of videos that day and I was happy. Oh yes, I did, I did. I'm not denying that fact that I proposed to her. But I did that because my mom has been mounting pressure on me to settle down as her only child. So whatever I did was just to please my mom. So please, consider my feelings first. Afa mefuna. Just be careful. That's all I can say. I am an adult. I can always handle my things. Okay? But meanwhile, you and I know Priska is a good person. If you want to settle down with Priska, you can go ahead. I mean, I'll still give you my blessings. Mm. Oh, please. Oh no, I don't deserve this! I don't deserve this! Oh no. And you look at me. I told you everything over the phone, right? That is exactly what I've been going through. I don't know what I did. That's the worst part. I, I did nothing. So, so you mean I found it all of that? I'm telling you, fought with him. That's not possible. You know I can't try so much. So you mean all of a sudden he changed? Seriously, I can't explain. Oh, my friend, I mean, after all you have suffered for him. I just know, but you know Alpha wasn't like this, you know, right? He just cheats. Like, he gets angry at every slightest provocation. He won't even let me talk. He, he will just keep nagging. Like, I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, this is unbelievable. Eh? I need to talk to him. I need to talk sense into him. Rubbish. Oh my darling, please just calm down. Right now, you don't speak. You need to talk this to him. This is unbelievable. You do have to talk to Abba because I think he's going insane. Yes, he will talk to you the way you would like. So do not talk to Abba. Just leave him. I just leave him with my my friend, I just so trouble with stop all this. It's hurting me emotionally. If I never know, the great son of Ezebubi. Uh, uh, my priestess. You have always been like this, right from childhood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at least I'm always honest in everything I say. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Uh. <laughs> um. Ikenga. My princess. Please, do not forget to use the Ojugo to speak with Ndichana. It is very important, just as we discussed. <laughs> My princess, come on, how can I forget something as important as that? It's not possible. Good. <laughs> My princess. You again? I, I am sorry about what happened the last time. I, I meant no harm. 
what do you want? Speak! Before I make you regret standing before me, stranger. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm my president. I think you're being harsh on this young man. Or is there anything the matter? Any problem? Um, he's the one. The stranger that got healed by the sacred sword. He just can't keep away from me. But don't worry. I will handle him my way. Oh. I am sorry about what happened the last time. It's you now. I understand. I, I meant no harm. I, I just want to show some level of appreciation. You, you saved my life. I feel I'm forever indebted to you. Please. She does not want your gift. Mind you, you're standing before the great priestess of Aguachala. Hey, you better leave, you stranger. Don't joke with your life. Leave. Your gift and never return. It's, it's, it's just a harmless gift from an, an innocent man. Just to show appreciation. You, you saved my life and I feel I am forever indebted to you. And I said, she does not want your gift. Are you deaf? Chibundo. Take the gift. <laughs> Thank you, my priestess. Thank you, beautiful. Leave! Now! Thank you. Thank you, my priestess. Thank, thank you. Wait, wait. I don't understand. Can you explain what is going on? What is it that you don't understand? You heard him. He said the gift was just to show an appreciation. They are not for me. They are for the goddess. Let's go. Ikenga! Ikenga! I can't let her have him. Never. I'd rather die than watch him marry another woman. Look at me now. Am I not beautiful? Never. I will not allow her. I will deal with you, Jamaka. I can feel the bitterness in your heart. Oh, Ikenga, you are here. Yes, I'm here to save you. To save your life. Desist from your evil plans. And let destiny prevail. I don't know what you're talking about. You want to deny it? Don't forget that I'm Ikenga, great son of Ezebube. I see beyond all my minds. Allow your chi to bless you, daughter of Okonku Nyukomwa. <laughs> Princess, don't fall in love. This is beautiful and it looks expensive. Why is he doing this? 
If only he knows the dangers that will be for him. I am so happy she collected that gift. Look at those beautiful eyes. The sight of that girl is one of the most beautiful things I've ever set my eyes on. But sometimes I, 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 I wonder why these spirits will go and possess beautiful girls when there are so many ugly girls on the street roaming looking for who to make them theirs. Nah, these spirits are very greedy, very greedy spirits. They won't go for the ugly girls, they will be possessing these beautiful girls. Just imagine the girl serving a date in that thick forest. Oh my. One I would rather join her in serving that deity till she accepts to be mine. Afam, Afam, I am here so that we will sort this out once and for all. Afam, what is happening? Why are you treating me the way you do? You ignore my calls. Like, what's happening? Talk to me. I'm not a fool. Talk to me. What did I do? Huh? What is all this? No, not again, not again, Afam. Afam, you're not working out on me. You are not. You are not working out on me this time around. Tell me what I've done. Why, why, why are you doing this to me, baby? You make me cry every day, literally, and I'm not okay with it. Please talk to me. What, what is happening? What have I done? Please. The truth of the matter is, my body and spirit had already left you before now. What? I mean, what will I gain still keeping you around, wasting your time? Please. What? I'm done. No! I... No! Babes. 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 Angel. My heart is broken. I know how you feel. No, Angel, you don't. You don't know how I feel. I just want to wake up from this dream. Because I believe I'm dreaming. This is not real. It's not happening. Why do I really deserve this? Afam looked into my eyes and said, It's over. Like it's over between us. Afam said, It's over. A relationship I have nurtured for years. But for what reason, if I may ask? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, are you sure he's not seeing another girl? <laughs> you don't understand? You don't! I'm not sure I'll survive this, Angel. Okay. I'm not sure I'll survive this. <laughs> look, look, you have to put yourself together, okay? This is not the end of the world. You have to calm down. Angel, Angel, you won't understand. Angel, I am traumatized. Okay. I'm not you like have to put yourself together, Priska. But why will Afam do this to me? Can you just tell me why? Then I'll be fine. Just tell me why Afam would do a thing like this to me and I'll be fine. And I'll not cry again and I'll not talk again. A man I've loved, I've loved Afamo. I've loved him. I've, I've not cheated on him for once. I've been loyal. I've been a loyal girlfriend. Okay. Afam engaged me. Okay. And Afam is telling me that it's over. It's okay. It's okay. You really need to fight for what belongs to you. Now stop crying. You can't be doing this to yourself. Eh? It's okay, Joe. Stop crying. I will have to be on my way. I will call you, okay? It's okay. Stop. Fine. Okay, fine. I'll stop crying. I will call you. 
call you, okay? It's okay. It's alright, Angel. Afam, Afam, why? I don't deserve this. This is a great abomination. It's unbelievable. How can such a promising young girl commit such evil act in her heart? How can? Have mercy. why why Woman, shut your lips. Keep quiet. Um, please. The priestess of Aguachala. Over to you. Woman, your daughter committed an abomination. It is an abomination to plan and execute evil against the priestess of Aguachala. I now declare you and your daughter banished from Aguachala forever. Um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the great priestess of Agwaja, I understand how you feel. Okay, but please, pardon this poor way. Her daughter might be dangerous, but I don't think she, she supported what her daughter did. Please, do not punish her. She has nowhere to go. Don't punish this for this. She is to bring three fat she goats, 25 pieces of kola nut or jugu, four white fowl, 25 tubers of yam, and 100 pieces of cows in less than five days. Among these five days, on a K day, she will go to a Kulu river. For places. And after that, she will be forgiven. Oh, is that why? Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, is that why? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the great princess of Abraham. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you so much. Says, let me let me get you a glass of juice. I'm not interested. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Jesus. See, sis. I know everything you're passing through. I I had your friend's advice, but if I'm to suggest, I, I would I would tell you to move on. I mean, you, you can force someone to love you. Big sis, you're beautiful. You got the money. Well and down. Just move on. Amy, you won't understand. You won't. What else do you want me to understand? Big sis, you all have got. We lost our parents at a very tender age. Please stop doing this to yourself. Stop killing yourself all because of a man. Stop. It's okay, Mecca. Thank you so much. Thank you, kid bro. Thanks. It's fine, don't worry. I'll be strong. Have you eaten? How can I eat? 
How can I eat when you are in such a sad mood? How can I eat? Don't worry, just go inside. Look for something to eat, okay? Right now, I've lost my appetite. Uh, okay, don't worry, I'll eat later. Just go in, okay? Okay, okay. no problem. I'll eat. Okay. I'll eat. I'll eat. Just go and eat, I'll be fine. Take your No, check it well. Because each time he calls me on the phone, before he finishes one sentence, I fire a So check it. Mom, we kiss your friend there. Mama, I did not feel wrong to her. <laughs> yes. I'm sure I've done nothing wrong. Mama, I even went to his house to apologize for something I know nothing about. What he did was to throw me out. Afam threw me out of his house. Oh, that I don't know. He saw the swim. Chalo, let me call him. Huh? No. No. He's here. Oh. He's here. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I was even trying to call you. I'm going to call you. Yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was coming to the village. My love. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what are you doing? Nah, calm down, calm down. What is it? If there's any problem, talk to your mother. Oh? Uh, Mama, there's no problem at all. As a matter of fact, she's a nice girl. <laughs> and I liked that about her. Liked? Yes, Mama, I liked that about her. But the truth of the matter is, I, I don't think I can marry her because of... Uh, you know, this is marriage you're talking about. In marriage, you should think of someone you can be able to see through their bullshit all the rest of your life. And <laughs> I don't love her. You never loved her. Yet, in my hearing. Eh? Afamefuna. Afamefuna. Mama. Afamefuna. Mama, I am tired of this whole thing. I can't keep denying this. Mama, this is about my feeling. This is about. The woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. <sighs> Mama, I am your only son. You have always mounted pressure on me to get married. And whatever you see me do all this why I was doing it just to please you. She's a nice girl, I've said it before. And she can always find someone else. Please. Our happiness is paramount here. Please. Um, Priska, uh, I think you better go back to the city. Please do those things. Oh, from this is not you. Afam, you're not the one talking! My son doesn't even have water in my mouth! Ah, ah, Mba, who is this? I say, I cannot do this. This is not coming from you! Mba, no. Afam, why? Why? Please, um, whatever this is, you just get up. Afam, I'm not here. Afam, I'm not here. You can't see that. Hey, mama. Are you joking? Hi! You do not know how much that girl loves you. That is why you would choose another girl over her. By the way, who is that Apurahu that you chose over that beautiful girl? Well, um, Mama. She's not a person but the priestess of Abuachala village. Give me. The priestess of Abuachala village. I think I'm a Hey! Why do you want to bring an Obanje into my home? What, what did you call her? Obanje! God gave you an angel. Maramba! You want an Obanje? You want to dive into problems, into trouble. Mama, there is nothing wrong with that girl. That girl is a normal human like every other person is. Listen, I have found a woman after my heart. I am tired of pretending, trying to compel myself to do something I am not willing to. Mama, this is marriage we are talking about here. It's a lifetime mission. Let me go after a woman that I am willing to grow old with. Please. <laughs> You will marry that girl only when I am no more.
Who are you and why are you blocking my way? And where do you think you're going, Mr. Stranger? I mean, you have no business with where I'm going. Why should you be stopping me and interrupting my movements? I don't have any business with you, so please tell this people here or your boys or whatever they are to you to please leave my way and never to block me again <laughs> what an effrontery and what nerves what gods speaking to me in such in such manner in a strange land where you can be wasted forever no one will ask about you to the best of my knowledge the priestess has healed you so you have no business with this place nor the shrine you lie if the priestess doesn't want to see me anymore, she should tell me herself, look me in my eyes and tell me herself that I should stop coming to search for her. <laughs> so please, get these things out of the way. I can't wait if you want to see You can get all that joy. <laughs> Ah, I love that man. <laughs> uh, whatever this is, let it not repeat itself again. I don't have any business with you people. I am going for my own business. Mind your business and leave me alone. Whenever they see me coming to this place, they should not stop me. So take them off the road, let me pass. Take them off, please. What happened? My friend, my friend, respect yourself, respect yourself, respect yourself. yourself and start. Just respect yourself and start. I woke up this morning, yeah, started the car. I moved. I didn't stop again until I got to Coca Junction where I bought bottled water. So what happened to you? What was the meaning of this? Listen, if I must go and see the priestess, wait, well, yes. To stop me from going to see the priestess, I would go and see the priestess. So thank you for coming. Well, I have to thank you because I'm always delighted in your presence, you know. The pleasure is mine. Hi, priestess. Ah, beautiful. You again. What? What? After I didn't come here to see you. The last time I checked, this is not your home. Push me no further. What is going on here? 
And you, stranger, you have no right whatsoever to speak to him like that before me. Uh, 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 princess, he, 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 he came out so rude. On my way to come and see you, he brought me with his boys. He asked me to go back crudely, and I refused. The next thing that happened is my car refused to start. I did everything, the car refused. You can go. I thought I told you to stay away from this, so that I can handle it. You don't have to go that far. I, I, I. You what? I, 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 I don't know what he's talking about. Do you actually believe him? Of you course, you know what I am talking about. You do. He can go. Release his car so he can go home now. Kinga, I said release his car so he can go home. Just do it for my sake. Please. <sighs> um, stranger. Hi. You may go home. Your car is free. Thank you, my priestess. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But one more thing, please. I, I, I brought you something you would like. Something from the best of collections. I mean, you, you like it. It's, it's beautiful. I, I got this just special for you. Let me just wear this on you and you. You, you like it. I mean, it's something. Oh, shit. He's looking at me. Uh, approach this. Uh, it's, it's just a gift. I, 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 I know you like it. I, 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 I brought it from the best of collections in town. Here, just, just a gift. It's just a gift. I, I mean no harm. This is dangerous. What you ask of is dangerous because it won't only affect me, it will affect you and the entire village. Goddess, I don't care. I don't care as much as it's going to affect me. I, 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 I can't help it. I, I can't get the thought of you out of my mind. I, 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 I can't live a life without Stranger. thinking of you. There are so many beautiful girls where you came from. Look for one and settle with. My mind is made. It is either you, the goddess of my heart, or no other woman. Hmm. <laughs> Stranger, you are risking your life. I don't mind dying for what I believe. I don't mind dying for the joy of my heart. Do not be like the stubborn fly that follows the corpse to the grave. What you ask of is dangerous. Dangerous. Is there anything wrong for a man to go after his heart? Is there anything wrong for a man to die for one thing that he believed in? Goddess, life without you seems impossible. I am willing to pay any price that it costs for me to be with you. I said what I said. <laughs> Str
Stranger, what you seek of is dangerous and is deeper than you. If I Princess, you don't fall in love. My leg, my leg, my leg. Ah, my leg. My leg. My leg. Oh, the bread of Agochala. Please, I need your help. My cousin is in pain. He needed your urgent attention. Please. He's been beaten by a dangerous cobra. I, I know. I know. That is why I brought him here so you can just take care of it. Please. Do not worry. I will take care of him. Thank you. I'm just relieved right now. Thank you so much. Just go home. Come back later in the day. She will make him strong and healthy again. The brother of Agochala. Okay, what about Charlie Afuzo? He came back. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I better take my leave now. It's okay. Let's go. No. No! No, wake up. Wake up, no, wake up. No! Wake up. Please, 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 I beg of you. It's not his fault. If there's anyone to be punished here, then it should be me. It's my fault. He's disappointed in you. I don't want to hear anything. You are lost in path and affection. You are lost in love. Under your watch, you left my cousin. Die in pain. I don't think I will ever, ever forgive you. Higenga, please, don't say that. 
I know I've, I've, I've made the worst mistake. I accept my mistakes. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't doing anything with him. I, I wasn't doing anything. I don't care. I accept my mistakes. I, I, I made a terrible mistake. I'm, I'm sorry. Please, just, just, just oh, forgive me. I'm sorry. I King, I'm sorry. I accept my mistakes. I'm sorry. Kenga, what are you doing? My dear cousin, brother. The priestess was so careless. She was so careless and left you to die. I know you're not happy wherever you are, but please. Please do not revenge. I want you to rest in peace. Just rest in peace. I don't remember inviting you to my house. What do you seek? Can speak. I have no time. He can go. I am so sorry for your loss. Oh, you think Please so? take my apology to the dead. Thank you, Cezy. This night brought my cousin to you for you to give him life when he was in pain. We are carried away with emotions. And you are here right before me telling me to forgive you. Please, Ikenga, like I say, please, my very good friend, find a place in your heart to forgive me, for it wasn't intentional. Ikenga, if you can forgive me, what do you expect the dead to do? Please, forgive me. Um, I, I brought this to appease the dead. Please accept it. I forgive you. Thank you. Now you're welcome to my house. Thank you. I bet you know. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm up to God, they're both ready. This is great, I'll be here. One minute, this is the end. Please, forgive the Christmas. She brought this. To have peace. I want you to rest in peace. Forgive her. Please forgive me. I want you to rest in peace. My dear brother. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Now what are you job and I'm going Oh? Rest in peace. Now go to the man and oh?
do not challenge someone like me. I am Ikenga. As you can see, it's getting better. Stop crying. Yes, it's getting better. Oh, don't you don't understand until you have a stubborn child. At least let him get better now. Okay? He's yes. a better. Okay. He will be better. He needs enough rest. What he needs now is enough rest. So I will suggest you join me to the reception. We need to talk. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's a minor issue. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Let's go. Plan to kill my son, my only child. If anything should happen to him, I will never forgive everyone in this village. What are you talking about, woman? My son is lying, lifeless, at the hospital. Tell whoever is involved that it will never be well with them. Dichina, <laughs> Jada Wankin, Welcome to my humble abode, the priestess of Agwaja. To what do I owe this visit? Ikenga, why have you decided? To destroy the powers given to you by your G, own son of great Ezebu. I don't know what you're talking about. Has it gotten so bad that you now lie to me? The priestess of Agachala, can you go straight to the point? Stop speaking in riddles. He the nail on the head. You and your boys attacked that stranger. His mother came to the shrine this morning, crying bitterly. That boy is her only child. I warned him severally and he didn't listen. I told you that I will handle him. I told you to stay away, that I will handle him. He told me to stay away from him, as you will handle him. The heart of that strong priestess that I know is saying a different thing, while her lips is saying a different thing entirely. Okay, 
He can go, do you realize that you are not meant to spill blood or kill? Once that happens, your powers vanishes forever. And if that happens, all thanks to you. Ikenga. Ikenga. Anything stay here. Stay here. The doctor said he would discharge you, but it's not now. Stay. Stay here. Yeah, discharge you. Let's go. Discharge you. Just stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Don't care anything. People will just weaken. You will just weaken. Never. Who is this stranger? this stranger oh he should thank his ancestors that he survived I wanted to destroy him make him pay for what he has done because of this same stranger the priestess has refused to serve the land just the way she used to the priestess has lost it she has lost it because of this same stranger I've lost everything my friendship with the priestess. And he thinks he can get away with it. Only if he knew what he has gotten himself into. Only if he knew who he can guys. Only if he does know. If I Stranger, you look worried. 
What troubles you? My mother is missing. That's a why. My mother is missing. She's nowhere to be found. Your mother is missing. How sure are you that your mother is missing? I'm sure, Zawani! That's why I'm sure! That's why my mother was supposed to bring food to me in the hospital. I waited. I waited. As a matter of fact, after I waited for some time, I went home to search for my mother. I got home. I saw the food my mom was supposed to bring to me in the hospital spilled on the floor. And everyone in the house was so scattered. I said, why? Every single thing in that house was slittered. And close to the door, I, I saw blood close to the door. And that is a sign that my mom is not all right. Go home. For your mother shall return to you. Priestess, I, sh I should go home? I am telling you that my mother is not home. I, 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 you're telling me to go home? Go home! I assure you of that. She shall return to you alive. Go. Uh, uh, fine. Uh, it's, a it's not as if I am trying to protest with your powers, but I, I, I just need my mom to be fine. I need my mother to be all right. That's all I'm asking for. That, that's all I'm asking for, please. Inga, you've done enough to that man. You are going beyond limits. What do you mean? Let that innocent woman go. You know, from the look of things, it seems you're fighting for this young man in question. Let him face the consequences of what he practically drawn for himself. I want to cut the head of his mother and put it on a platter for him to see. Ikenga. What about your powers? I don't care about my powers. That refraff practically challenged me, Ikenga. So I don't mind losing my powers. I will teach him a lesson that we will never forget. Ikenga, this is my decision. My fight, my consequences are not yours. May I remind you that when one finger touches on you, it affects every finger. Get that into your skull. Ikenga, the great son of Ezebube, my very good friend, the only friend that understands me in and out. Please, I beg of you, release her. Let her go for my sake. Please, just do this for me. Mama, who did this to you? Mama, go there, Maggie. Go there, Maggie. Ha. Mama, go there. Mama, 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 if I am full, I have to leave that girl. Mama, Mama. If I am full, I have to leave that girl alone. Because Mama, which girl? That priestess. Oh. Mm. Because you have to go back to the city. Face your business. Because our lives are in danger. Because, because, because. Hey! So, so, they, so they did this to you because of the girl? Hey, yes. My Hey, Jimmy. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> leave that girl alone. Okay, then go. <laughs> but mama, mama, I, mama, I am sorry. I, what you're asking me to do sounds so impossible. Eh? Uh, 
Now I, want, I know you want me to die. God forbid. There's no problem. God forbid, my man. I you will not die. die. Man, you will not die. Stop sounding the way you're sounding, please. You will die. See, I'll protect you. Such a thing will never happen again, bro. You will not die. Man. I will die for you. No problem. Man, you will not die. Leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me. Let them come and kill me. Mama, you will not die. Please. I know you have always wanted me to die. Hi, Chineke. Mama, stop saying what you're saying now. God Papa, forbid. Papa, no look. Ma, stop standing this way. I beg you the name of the okay, okay, fine, mama. Let me take it. Leave me alone. Let's go to the place clinic. Leave me. I want to die. Go. Leave me. Leave me. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Since your father died, it has been me. Me, you know, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. When I die, you go and do whatever you want to do. Mama, stop starting this way. There's no problem. Adiba, Adiba. Mama, let me take care of you. Mama, what you're asking me to do is against the hospital rules and regulations. Doctor, you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm a family in there. If you leave that boy now, he will put me in trouble. Because I want his attention to be focused here. Don't be cool. I'm sorry. If I do this, I may lose my job. I may even lose my license. Doctor, you will not lose anything. See, uh, the way your job is important to me. That is how my son is important to me. Biko, eh? help me. Help me, please. When my son comes, say, we need to go. Need to go. <sighs> Mama, this is a very difficult task. But I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Hey, doctor, doctor. Mama, Mama, it's okay, no problem. I think I feel different whenever he's around. I can't continue like this. This whole thing is weighing me down. And I don't like it. I can no longer fight my emotions. Can't. I welcome you. Wadiana. I welcome you. Wait. Welcome. 
Nimuchi. Thank you very much. Mukuma Diana. My daughter. Nimuchi. Don't you think you're about to take a drastic decision? Nimuchi. What do you mean by that? You want to abandon your chin? Nimuchi. How did you know about this? Who told you? Don't forget that I'm your Nuji. And that the great mother, Aguatala, came from here. So, my daughter, I can read through your heart. Hmm? That's the reason I came to see you. I'm confused. I, I don't I don't know where to start from. I, I don't know what to do. Please help me. Don't worry. I'm here. I was going to the world, taking that way of meeting. Okugi. The doctor told me that your waist is badly damaged. Wow. Like you're in severe pain. Mm. So how come you're sitting out here? Don't you believe no kunti kunti bu? Or is it because I'm not lying on the hospital bed? Mama. Mm -hmm. From the way the doctor narrated your situation to me, you were supposed to be lying down on the medical bed. He said I should sit up small so that um, it will heal fast. Mama, why are you so dramatic? <laughs> okay, but dramatic. <laughs> my waist is badly damaged. My body is really ill. Hey. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Mama, you Huh? You heard me. I can't even walk. I want to jump over. I said, "Give me a guy now. I'll leave you here." How come you're so rapid? What are you? How far? My daughter is Jamaica. You love him. Yes, I do. I hope you know the danger of what you're about to do. Nemoche, that's why I'm here. That's why I came to you. Help me. I wish you know. Because if he deflowers you before you set free, hmm, your entire village will be wiped out. Uh, that I know also. Okay. Nemoche, I don't intend going back to that village until I find a solution to this. Because the more I stay in that shrine, the more I become angry. I can't go back there. My daughter, one thing is certain. Anything the goddess does not approve can never happen. So let's wait. Yeah, that's about what you Um, you're uh, welcome to my home. So, uh, what do I owe this person? Now, first of all, we thank you for welcoming us. We are here because of the prestige. For over four days now, she is nowhere to be found. Four days. 
So we came to ask if you know her whereabouts. As regards to the dangers that will befall us, if she doesn't return back to the kind of uh, as soon as possible, that is what we have. Yes. No, no. I, 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 don't, I don't know her whereabouts. I'm not even aware of this. I'm not. Son of Ezebube, we are surprised to hear this coming from you. Knowing that you and the priestess are childhood friends and you share a lot of powers in common. That is why you know who handed over everything with regards to the Shirai of Aguachala for you to protect. So where do we go from here? Um, 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 my elders, it's all right. There is no cause for any alarm. I, I assure you, I'll put things in place. Please. Please, do this for us and the people of Agatha and we'll be very good. Like I said, there is no cause for any alarm. I will make sure that I put things in place. This I promise. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You look so tired and weak. What's going on? I am not fine. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm confused. Listen. You cannot be confused. Look, Priestess, listen to me. I will remain with you until the end of time. Yes. Then find me. Yes. I, I, I need you. I need you. I'm lonely. Find me. Uh, I should find you. Yes. Yes. Priestess. Find me. What do you mean I should find you? Priestess! Priestess! Our youth kept the presenting. No food, no water. Even other neighboring villages that used to come and beg from us, they now see us as uh, 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 an object of ridicule. Ikenga, how long? Ikenga, look at you. Look at you, Ikenga, looking so relaxed as if nothing could be done about this problem. And people are dying in their numbers. Ikenga, I don't understand anymore. Eh? Ikenga, see, just you need to do something. The death rates keep increasing on a daily basis. Calamities everywhere. You know, I am so disappointed that all of you elders will come into my house and speak to me in such a manner. I don't understand what's coming on. I've done everything I could, everything within my powers. So what do you expect me to do? How do you mean? We are here because we know that you are in a position to do something. That is why we are here. Like I'm not doing anything? Listen, I'm not the priestess. And if you feel like I'm not doing anything, then all of you can search for her. What is all this? All we're supposed to do is to put heads together and, and find a solution to this. I'm not, I'm not shouting at me. For what reasons? Ikenga. Oh, no worry here, maybe Ikenga. Kaya no eko waka yotua. Nei cheke ni wesi na na da. Well, eventually, if I have something to do, I have anything. Priestess, Priestess, thank God you're here. I found you. I found you. 
My goodness. I, I, I went to the shrine and I, 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 I saw... Speak not of what you saw. You're welcome. I missed your presence. Wow. Hi. Ne, I greet you. Welcome the offspring of Okeke Maganazo. The grandson of Onwamizu. And the great grandson of Untumabulini. Oh, wait. Permit me if I may ask. How do you get to know... Says your question. For what you do not know is much bigger than you. Hmm? Let me go and get some herbs from the Ophia Mona mother. Hmm? I will. Be back. I will. Hmm? Take care. Yeah. Alright. You were not at the shrine. What are you doing here? I have decided to quit everything. Yes. I know this is a very dangerous decision. But I can no longer deny the feelings, the emotions. This is good. I mean, this is a fantastic decision you have taken. What are we still waiting for? You know what? Come with me. Come with me to the city. Let's run and live our own life in the city. Come, let's go. Not so fast. Let's go. I am not scared of you. You can hear what she said. Leave her alone. I will handle you in a special way. My own way. You cannot do anything. Dear Priestess of Aguachala. Give Aguachala Jeff. Please, follow me, let us go home. The people of Aguachala must do a lot. They need you. Please follow me. No. I can't. I can't go back there. I want to live a normal life. You know I've been lenient because of the friendship. Because of what we've shared. If not for anything, for the sake of people, the people of Aguachala. The innocent people that are dying. Please, for me, let us go home and liberate our land. I said no! You heard her. No, Ikenga. I am going nowhere. If you don't want to follow me back to Aguachala, I'll be left with no choice than to take him. Ikenga, don't try it. Don't touch him. Don't, don't, don't touch me. If, if you listen, if, if you touch me, don't if, if you will be dead. Oh. Ikenga! Ikenga! Now listen to me and listen real good. What is else? I'll bring his head back to you on a platter. You know me. Ikenga, you can't do this! Ikenga, you can't do this! You can't do this! You can't do this! <laughs> What is going on? Who do I call now? Let's see. Let's see. Uh -huh, Mom. How are you? Please, um, 
did my son call you lately? No! He came to the village to see me. But suddenly he disappeared. I should call Priska. Okay, okay. Thank you. Mm. Did that firm call you lately? Ah. He did not. Where can he be? Can I go? I am sick. I'm tired of all this. I just feel like, I just feel like removing all this and, and then setting myself free. But how? If you are not cleansed, the gods will come after you and they will punish you severely. So, man, what do I do? Tired. Now let the gods decide your fate. Hmm. Ikenga has taken him away. I can feel his pain. I can feel yes. his pain. Truly, he's in pain. So you must go. Or else he will kill him. Yes. But I... For his sake, go back and save him. Thank God I met you here. I was actually on my way to your house. Oginikwa, what is it? So, my son is missing. Afa mefune. Oh, else? No, 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 no. Afa Mefuna could go to abroad. Uh, he can travel to his friend's house. Don't say that. Afa Mefuna is nothing, nothing will happen to Afa Mefuna. No. My son is in trouble. I can feel it. I can feel it. Is there anything I need to know? Biko, follow me. To where? To Aguachala village, Biko. No, Aguachala is a far distance. What am I going there to do? We're talking about your brother's only child. No! Did you, I say no? No one cares about how I feel. I need to be free. I need to be free from this bondage. Listen, the goddess no longer speaks to me. So what am I doing here? I need to be free. No one cares about me. Just, just go home. You can look for another priestess. But our people are dying. No food, no water. Impunity is taking over our beautiful Aguadra. Please want you to do Please some... Please what? Please what? Oh. So, you all want me to remain here and solve your problems. Whereas, no one cares about me. Listen. Go home. At this point, I am tired. I need my freedom. I need my freedom. I need to be set free from others. <laughs> Oh, Princess of Agua Chala, you're welcome to my home. Can you? Ikinga, why are you doing this? Why? I'm doing this because of him. He paid deaf ears to my warnings. Ikinga, let him go. I love him. You can't change that. And you think I don't love you too? You knew everything. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. But I didn't let my emotions 
take me off. I didn't. They did like I don't care. I didn't. I didn't love you, but you knew everything. I'm supposed to get married, but because of you, I refused to get married just to keep this village in peace and not to put us in misery. That boy is supposed to do the same, but he refused. And you are here to warn me. Ikenga, if anything should happen to him, then she will be my enemy forever. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Ikenga, Ikenga, you will not like to see the other side of me. Oh, bring it. So don't be so foolish to try me. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm Ikenga. Ikenga, what are that joy? There is no way I will sit and watch that riffraff put my village in misery. I'm fighting a just cause, so I'm not scared of anything. Think you can threaten me now? No one threatens me. I'm ready to fight. Bring it on. I'm ready to fight. You tried stopping him from loving me. So do not blame me. Who knows what they have done to my son? You don't fight destiny, but you tried to. Meanwhile, I am doing my best to set him free. Only the elders will decide for now. How can we see them? Eh? So we can resolve this. The person in question is my elder's brother's only son. Do not worry, Mama. Calm down. Go home. For this will be sorted out. Please, see me in the Go home. I don't don't worry yourself too much. He will be fine. You saw his condition. How am I sure that he's going to survive this? Uh, I strongly believe the priestess. She she, she said that we should be hopeful and believe. So I got that Hey. If anything should happen to my son. I will not forgive the entire village of Amachala. Nothing will happen to him. No, no, it's my brother's son. Don't you get yourself worked out. Come on, come on. This is true. Go home. Eat. Mm. Relax. You will force it. <laughs> eh? Calm down. I talk come key for me go. Can you hold for? My Noche told me an interesting but very confusing story about how I and Ikenga were meant to, 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 to get married, that we reconnected together and were meant to get married. But Faith said otherwise, that our powers were shared and that he's the only one who can set me free from all this. So I am confused. I decided to come see you so you can. Maybe you should have idea or you, you know something about it. Princess of Agwajara. Yeah. You don't have to be confused. Your noche is right. She's right? Yes. Ikenga is the only person that can free you from this. It is either him or no other person. Nay, thank you. Thank you, I've heard you. How? Uh, uh, see, uh, 
I don't want you to be confused. Hmm? Just calm down. Do not over worry yourself. Everything will be all right. And do not do any mistake so that you will not hurt yourself. Thank you, Nai. Everything will be all right. Thank you, Nai. But like I told you, Ikenga is the only person that can free you from this. Thank you, Nai. May the gods be with you. I'm so to you. Calm down, let's hear from you. Sir. Madam, sir. This is the first time the people of Aguachala are facing this type of misery. Poverty, scarcity of water, no food, death. When I say that, I mean a lot of innocent people have died because of this son. He came and stole the heart of our president. He has been warned severally, but he persisted. So let him face the beating of his own drum. Simply put, Ah, uh, here. I greet you. Uh, this young man here is the only son of my late brother. The people of Agwaja have always been respected and known for greatness and peace. For the sake of this woman here, please, tamper justice with mercy. Madam, because of you, we can only pardon him on one condition, on just one condition. Whatever the condition is, we're here for it. Okay. He will swear by the offer of Undichie that any time in his life he stepped close to the soul of Aguachala, he will be struck to death by a moment of huh? I would rather die. Pico. 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 if anything should happen to you, I will die. You see it? He is determined to die. Okay, like I said, I'm very sorry the way I spoke to you the last time. Please, I, I, I was carried away. I, I got carried away and I, my good friend, please forgive me. Well, dear yeah, priestess of Maguachi, I cannot go to Sebastian. All I was doing is for the interest of my village. That's all. Ikenga, I know how you feel about my decisions. But you're my best friend. My childhood friend. I expect you to, to understand with me. Please, Ikenga. Even if I still accept being the priestess of Aguachala, things will get worse. Ikenga, the goddess no longer speak to me. So of what use is it for, for me to, 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 to be at the shrine? Please, I beg you. Pico. Do you know the implications of your decision? No, no, no. We can't accept that. Things will get worse. If I am maybe see to get more worse if we let her still remain the princess of Agacha. Eh? Of course. She doesn't have the interest of being the uh, princess anymore. So we can't force her to be there. Besides, Agacha doesn't speak to her anymore. Mm -hmm. There is no use of her being there. Uh, you mean the, 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 the Agacha doesn't speak to her anymore? If I may ask, if she steps down from being the princess of Agacha, who will take over? Oh, let the goddess decide that. Let the goddess decide that. Because we can't sit and watch our commit uh, uh, impunity there and, and we, we start suffering it. No. That's my suggestion. That's my decision. If any man who are you? Who are you? 
show your face. I command you to show your face. Ready. Tomorrow we head to Mbanagwachala with some elders. There, the skull of the past priestess will be excavated. The ritual will be performed and you will be set free. King, uh, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I thank you for always being there for me. I appreciate everything. So get yourself prepared. You have to come with four cowries. Four cooler nuts. A white chicken. And a she goat. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll make sure I provide everything needed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Mbarago Chala! Mbarago Chala! Are you can go? Say, 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 I plead on her behalf. Listen to whatever she has to say. I greet you once again, Ezewanya Guachala. You can speak. Aguachala name. I shall go one. No more, Bioma. The jail and wine. I greet you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I am so sorry for my decisions. Please forgive me. I, I, I'm not rejecting you. I still believe in you. All I want is for you to set me free. I want to live a normal life like every other maiden. I want to get married and have my own children. Please, I beg of you, have mercy upon me and set me free. Set me free forever. You can even go. And throw in the cowries one by one. Thank okay. you. Oh, yeah. You can lie down. No more, we can't get can go without that joy.
Mayu kuna adam mad na ba na nogo. Oni to puto bo. No li ano adel yu dene. Oni mundi ang watang kaku. E kunya mili ko aka. O ko agunya lam naka. Ayon na lam nozo. Ese wanya agua chala. Ese wanya agua chala. Ese wanya agua chala. Ese wanya agua chala. Is the one I got? Is the one you got? Is the one you got? Is the one you got? Is the Patana na wisi ni gogi di gogi di gogi di adi amanis ni siya di gogi di gogi di gogi di anyo fe yon oh fuck it di jawan ame lam nan jo foji dogu manage mo fo no do polo ito si kuye kodi ni kuye kodi ni kene ni si ikene mi gine te kene gine mi uye kene gina kene gina take it It's time to unveil what was given to you as a pieces of our God. If I You're not free. 
You are now being separated between the human and the spirit. Thank you, Ikenga. Thank you, my elders. Let me bring food for you so that you can eat, then I'll take you to the kitchen. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you not the priestess? No, oh, she was the priestess. She was not anymore. Come, let's let's eat. Let's eat. Hmm? Let's eat. I, is it roasted jam and palm oil? No. Uh, no, it's not. No, I can't eat. Why? I've never eaten any food apart from roasted yam and palm oil since I was born. And as a priestess, we are not allowed to eat any other food. Oh, I'll die. Um, I know I'm free, but I'm a bit scared. Listen to me. You have disassociated yourself from that deity. You are now a free person. You can eat whatever you want to eat. Please just trust me on that. You're free. Please. You, you like it. See, it's, it's, it's very good. Just, just watch me, please. See. See. It's very good. You like it? Do you want water? I, I, do you want water? Uh, okay, I, I should give you some more. Yeah. You, you, it's very good. Is that a cow? Ah, Mama? Cow? Mama, this is an evidence that she's free. free. Mama, this is this is the cow from the deity. <laughs> Mama, she's free. Mama. Pico, would you not change? That's right. One of the maidens of Agachala was chosen to replace me. So I'm free. I'm free to, to marry and I have my own kids. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Mama, look at it. Can't you see the evidence yourself? Mama. Please. I know I've cost you and your son a lot. Please forgive me. Please. I'm sorry. Mama. Forgive me. Please forgive her. Please. She's free. Go boy, I lose it. Go. I said, sorry. Ah, 
the elders of Agwachala. I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. Yes, Ikenga, son of Ezebude, <clears throat> has Agwachala spoken? <laughs> of course, this goes for a celebration. <laughs> well, um, Agwachala has chosen Chibun, the daughter of Ijun, one of the shrine pieces, as the next pieces of Agwachala. Hey, now you come. <laughs> uh, then we need to meet with Ijemu as soon as possible to let her know. Of course. Of course. Because the more we delay, the more dangerous it becomes. So, can we go now? Um, hey. Uh, okay. Greetings, Ikenga, the great son of Ezekiel. Greetings. He sent for me. Greetings. Yes, I really do send for you. Have a seat. Have a seat. You know, when one accepts a call from his or her chief, a great sun shines, great power descends. Powers to control the universe. And I ask you, Chibundo, daughter of Ijemwa, so how the letter would it be if I'm to announce to you that the gods have chosen you as the next priestess of Agwajala? I am greatly honored. And from the deepest part of my heart, I will serve the great Agwajala. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear this, but I still think you need to go home, rethink about this, and come back in the next four market days. And repeat yourself again. Mm -hmm. Great Ikenga, there is no need to rethink. Since the gods has chosen me to be the next priestess, who am I to say no? My body and my soul are ready to serve the great Aguachala. Well, I'm very happy and uh, I'm very satisfied to hear this from you. That'll be all for now. I need to return back to the shrine. Farewell. Abomo. Ikenga. Please go get my food ready. I'm hungry. Yes, Ikenga. It is time. It is time to do that which you've sent me to do. Look down. If you are truly the one chosen by the great Ezemwa you will truly see the cowries hidden by the spirits. Go ahead and pick. What you did, your one. That's a quick code in the paper. You can easy. Throw it inside. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Half of we signed to a masterpiece. Now you accepted this call from the great Ezewanya Gwacha. But without it being complete, 
this not done yet. So it is time for you to swear an oath that you will serve as the one you are going to the end. With that, the bond will be sealed. Is the one I go at all? I'm a mekwegin kwa. Nange fegi. We run a home. It's all bestowed on me as the king of Aguachala. I hereby hand you over the staff of office. Fuck you, did you want? So I hereby hand you over the staff of office as the priestess of Agbaja. It is done. All hail the priestess of Agbaja. All hail the priestess of Agbaja. Yeah. 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 I want to say a very big thank you to you for accepting me as your daughter. Thank you very much. I know this is one of the hardest decisions you made. Thank you, I appreciate it. I promise. I will never disappoint you. I will make it quiet. What more can I say? I would like to say a big thank you to you too. I mean, Mama, I know it wasn't easy going through this. Yeah, but you survived this. Thank you so much. Shall I take a poor 